Today is a lovely day and an exciting one. Behind me, that's Soul Power's main manufacturing plant. And in just a few moments, I'll be talking to their international sales manager, Sam Lee. So come with me, let's go inside and find out more about Soul Power. Sam. Hey, Camille, how are you today? I'm doing great, how are you? Very, very good, very good. We're glad to have you here today well, with thank us. Thank you for inviting us. And it's a lovely day and uh, the perfect day to learn more about Soul Power. So what have you prepared for us? Well, we have a lot. How, how much time do you have today? I can stay the whole day. Are you sure? We have a 3,600 square meters to cover. 3,600 square meters. Wow, that's a huge area. Yes. So you're going to show me all of it? Well, we're going to start with introducing the buildings. Mm -hmm. The first, the main building, as mm -hmm. you see here. The, B fa the A factory here, okay. and we're gonna be walking to the B factory as well. Oh wow, so as you've well. got two factories actually. Yes, right? yes, two factories, and of course the factories go to three floors, mm -hmm. each factory. Excellent, so why don't we just start walking and you talk a little bit about Soul Power? Absolutely, let's take a walk. Okay. Well, Soul Power was established back in 1995. For the past 25 years, Soul Power have been dedicated to develop an advanced high-speed servo motor, DD motor, and spindles. We have our own R&D team, whom are specialized in electromechanical engineering. So we have a wide range of high-precision processing equipment, includes lathes, milling, and grinding machines, as well as we have a high-precision inspection tools, such as a CMM and other 3D inspection tools. So our main objectives here is quality, innovations, and service. Okay, excellent. So here we are, factory number one, factory yeah, A, this right? Is factory A, yes. So can we go inside? Absolutely, yeah, okay. let's go. Let's, let's go, go take a look. Well, as you see, it's being automated manually. Of course, it's a machine, mm -hmm. but it needs an expert to, to right. do so. It's not being it. automated mm -hmm. like an end-to-end -end automated. No, you need an expert to do that. So, so what type of equipment is this? What is well, it for? Well, it's a well. This machine called rotary balance table. Rotary balance table for spindles and for motors. What is the usage of this? Actually, very simple. Adjusting balance and the angles. Okay. Uh, and regarding of this table. Soul Power got three machines, small, medium, and big. Okay, so for different What's sizes, so, different yes, sizes. as you see. Here we go, this is some of our product. Yeah, I see a lot of products uh, here. Yeah, yeah, well, it's not, it's not, it's not finished yet, mm -hmm. because as I mentioned earlier, we are an expert when it comes to customized products. All right. So most of what you see is being made for a certain customer. So kind of tailor-made products yes, for yes, yes. specific requirements. Absolutely. Servo motors uh, it, uh, reach to 24,000 uh, 24, RBM. Uh, this motors, a synchronous, huge, yeah. a synchronous motors, the automation 4.0. All right, all okay, right, that's well, impressive. It's a servo motor as well, but still different RBM, different uh, ro rotation speed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, see on the right and the left, they're testing it, they're doing it manually because, as I said again, Custom customized. solutions. All right. Oh, I see. So, oh, you have quite a few ready to be shipped to a customer, right? Yeah, some uh, spindles, motorized spindles, and some servo motors customized. Okay. As you see, it's uh, the different colors. It's up to you, up to the customer to decide that. All right. It's customized. Okay. So okay, on to the next area, I guess. Okay. Well, here's uh, another example of what we do at Soul Power. This is. Uh, as I told, as I mentioned before, the smallest uh, one. Mm -hmm. So, being controlled, of course, oh, okay. uh, automated. But the most important part is not the machine; it's what the one who is working on it. Like, mm -hmm. let me show you. We have those numbers mm -hmm. and those angles and the power, the output. They have to control, they control it very, very accurate. So it has to be recorded by time. Okay. Yeah, okay. before we ship it out. So yeah, a lot of inspection equipment overall. I mean, in, just in those two areas, it's packed with different of, inspection of equipment, course, spindle course. inspection, right? That's, I mean, that's what makes Soul Power stands out in the market. Because we're not doing 20,000 or 30,000 or 50,000 a month shipping it standard spindle. We do that as well, but 
we do a customized one. Okay. This is what makes, makes Soul, Soul Power Park. stands out. Got it, got yes. it. And I see a special one here, it looks huge. Oh, like yes. I was talking about the one before, I thought it's huge, but this one is humongous. Oh yes, oh, yes. this is being invented by Soul Power. Okay. I mean, invented as the only one you, you, will, you, you will ever see in Asia really? for now. Absolutely, yes. This motor actually goes mm -hmm. up to 20,000 Newton meters. This motor, it's equal to 102,000 cc cars altogether. 100? The just, po it's power force. Just, yes. just one motor here. Just one motor. It's mm. equal to 100 cars wow. of 2,000 cc. Yes. And it's all being invented just by Soul Power. From design, develop, test to this part. Wow, so possibly, I assume, one of the most unique products of Soul Power? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah? Absolutely, yes. 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 Amazing. So Factory A was all about servo motors, yes. electric vehicle motors, a lot of inspection equipment. Yep. And now yes. we're on our way to uh, your second facility. Yes, Factory B. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to be going through the control system laboratory and the winding room and, of course, the most important from my perspective, this rotary, rotary uh, table and spindles, motorized spindles. Okay, rotary well. tables and motorized spindles. Yes. Okay, so here we are already. Okay, we're gonna start. To f what about the right from here? What's there? What well, is it? it's the control CNC system laboratory. Okay, let's go. Let's okay. check it out. Well, let's start from our electronics control laboratory. Well, it's a CNC controller. It's all about testing the capabilities of the mo servo motor, the motor, and the rotary table, as you see. Yeah, I think that there's a five axis rotary table, Yes, right? yes, 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 the five axis, yes. Mm -hmm. This is the final stage before shaving. Customer doesn't have to worry about the testing or about if it's working or So everything well, is so tested 100% before yes. shipping it to the customer. Yeah, well, the big show can tell you that. We have the actual machine there. Right. <laughs> so we can test it. We can okay. work on it okay. for a day or two before mm -hmm. sending it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what about our take you to the winding division? Sure, where is it? Yeah, well, it's behind us. Okay, hey, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. So, uh, winding division. So I assume I'll get to see some coils, right? Motor coils? Sure, yeah. Oh, I can see already some here. I have quite a few, actually. Yes, it is. Okay, here we are. Oh, and I don't see many machines. I see a lot of people exactly. winding coils. <laughs> exactly, but... yes. It's customized. So we need to have an expert in this field. Mm -hmm. Every and each one of them have a, like 10 or 15 years experience in this yeah, area. Okay. Yeah, so it's totally manual. What about we talk with our head division? Oh yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, Maybe well. you can introduce me to Mr. Him. Zhang. Mr. Zhang. Uh, Hello. This is Mr. Kenyo. Yeah, Hi. 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 它大部分是你比较喜欢马丁哈 Yes. He's been in this business for, for over than 30 years. Over 30 years? Yes, wow. doing this while That's in business. a lot of winding. Yes, I just ask him why he's doing that manually. Why don't you just do, right. get it over yeah, with the yeah, machine? Yeah. It's easier and you can do it faster. He would like every and each part being a customized for a specific order, specific customer. So it has to be manual. Yeah. Yes, handmade, yeah. After they're finishing the winding, mm -hmm. we have to go through this. Q and C. Mm -hmm. It's for the accuracy, of course, the power as well. Okay. So when it goes to the second step, it's gonna be 100% ready. All right. So again, quality very important. Absolutely right? yes. Okay. Okay, very nice. So that was the yeah. winding procedure for custom customized spindles, customized yeah. motors, right? Customized was winding. But I'm sure, Sam, you have much more to show me. Absolutely. Let's okay. go to the spindles and rotary table division. All right. Let's okay, go. Okay. Let's go. Okay, well, let me open the door for you, Thank please. You. Wow. Hey, Sean. <laughs> okay. 
What about we start with the laser management system? Okay, sure. Yeah. Yes. Well, the main part of this inspection or testing mm -hmm. is to make sure of two things. The first thing, accuracy. The second thing is repeatability. Okay, accuracy okay. and repeatability. Yes. And so, I see you have some like Renishaw inspection yeah. machines, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's one of the most respected uh, laser management systems yeah, in the yeah, world. Everyone yeah, knows this, yeah. this brand. If you want to take a look at the screen, we also can take a look. Look okay, at it. Okay, so you can see the numbers. The accuracy, yes, and you want to see the you know repeat the mm -hmm. repeatability. Okay, okay. Yes. And everything is recorded. Of course, everything is recorded. Timing. Looks great. Okay, let's go talk more about motorized spindle. Okay, sure, let's go. I hope you're ready for some tech talk because we are about to get a crash course in motorized spindle design, motorized spindle technology. And with me is Sam Lee, Soul Powers International Sales Manager. Sam, thank you again for having us today. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we want to talk about motorized spindles because it is one of your core products, one of your core technologies, right? Of course, yes. yes it okay, is. so um, obviously people watching, uh, most of them will be uh, from the machine tool industry, so they will be familiar with spindles, but maybe more familiar with conventional spindles, such as belt-driven spindles. Yep. So to kick it off, why don't you give us uh, the main differences between a conventional spindle and a motorized spindle? Okay, well, let me tell you. The conventional one has a, an external motor, which depends on the gear and the bolt and the coppers. Mm -hmm. But the motorized spindle, mm -hmm. the motor itself is built inside. Okay. Yes. Hence the name built-in motor or mo uh, built-in spindle or motorized spindle. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And yes. Uh, we'll be talking about the benefits of motorized spindles in more detail, but from what you just said, okay. I would assume uh, clear advantages, you save some space, right? Because okay. you don't have a motor attached. Yes, outside. absolutely. Yes, yes. Okay, absolutely. excellent. Now we'll be talking about uh, the spindles here in a few moments, but we also have some components here, components of a motorized spindle. So what are we seeing here in front of us? Well, yeah, it's just a few components. Uh, the motorized spindle itself has a lot mm -hmm. of components, but generally speaking, the most, I mean, the most important part are the shaft itself, okay. the spacer, spacer, the encoder, and encoder. the bearing, front and back, rear okay. bearing, yes. And of course we could get here into even more details, but uh, we're not engineers, you're not an engineer, so we're trying to get some of the most basic, uh, Absolutely, basic yes. effects. Absolutely, yes. I'll across. try my best, yes. I'll okay, try to highlight beautiful. some. Yes. Uh, now the spindle, so we see three types here in front of us to illustrate the different applications. So of maybe course. you can share a little yes, bit. Yes, where the main application are here at uh, Solbar, the milling. Okay, so that's a milling spindle for milling applications. Yes, and uh, turning built-in, built-in okay. spindle. Okay. And uh, woodworking. Oh, okay. Also for woodworking. Uh, yes, absolutely. Built-in well. motor. Yes. Okay. Now, I just mentioned benefits of a motorized spindle. Uh, we talked about uh, safe space, but there is more. So why don't you give us the main advantages of a motorized spindle, of a motorized spindle compared to other spindle types? Okay, well, the main advantages are high speed. Okay, higher speed. High precision, mm -hmm. low vibration, very small size, and very easy to install. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. I mean, we'll be talking about all those things in more detail in a few moments. And we we'll also see some uh, inspection processes, some inspection equipment, QC, QA yep. measures and so on. But of course, quality starts at the very beginning. Of and course. And the very beginning is the design process. So, and you manufacture and design your spindles 100% yourself, right? Uh, absolutely, yes. So that's why we want to focus uh, on the design process. And uh, you are not a designer, again, I just said it, but- Just highlighting, but I'm yeah, trying to we're highlight, go yes. through the main yes. steps of your design process right now. Sounds good, sounds okay, good. Okay, so? Well, well, let me start with the, the heart of the motorized bundle. Okay. The motor itself. It's made in-house. Made it, we, we made it here at Soul Power. Oh, okay. So even the motor itself is manufactured by Soul Power. Absolutely. You're not using for the past 20, motors from for, other manufacturers. No, no, no. For the past 25 years, we have been manufacturing the, the motor itself. Okay. Yes. It's one of your core technologies, motors. Of right? course, yes, yes. It's that's that's it's how Soul Power started? Oh, yes. Right? We started, yes. As a building motor a, the motor supplier, yes. 
So how do you want to show us and tell us about that design process? Okay, well, let's start off with taking a look at one of our motorized bundle. All right, yes. let's do it. Okay, so we're seeing a specification sheet of one of your spindles. Yes, this is one on our catalog. Mm -hmm. Yes, our customer can find it, of course, okay, on so one our page. of your motorized spindles, that's what we're talking yes, about today. Yes, All exactly, right. yes. So, well, what do we see? What do you want to tell us? Well, before we start uh, building the prototype, manufacturing mm -hmm. the prototype, we right. have to determine three things. The first one is the interface, the housing. How big is it mm -hmm. in terms of size? Okay. And the second thing, we have to know the maximum speed of the motorized spindle. So the requirements of your customer, what, uh, what uh, requirements yeah, does it have? Yeah, we we'll have to determine to that, yes, of course, yes. Spindle speed, all right, that's yes. 24,000 RPM, that's pretty fast, right? Actually, it's not that fast oh, really? when it comes to solar power. Yeah, we okay. can reach up, we already reached up to 40,000. Oh, wow, okay. Yes, so okay. it depends on the table and, of course, depends mm -hmm. on the customer requirement. Mm -hmm. The third thing we have to de determine before we start the prototype or yeah. the bearing uh, calculation procedure, uh -huh. what kind of tool system we're using. All right. Yep. As you see here. So we've got all those parameters and um, say I need a different diameter, different maximum uh, spindle speed and most of these parameters can be customized. Absolutely, yes, absolutely, yes. The housing, mm -hmm. the speed, the bearing specification, I mean, when it, the lubrication, it's grease. Right. The cost, some customers uh, required uh, oil air. Okay. See here, the built-in motor. Some customer required a, a synchronous, some customer require synchronous. Okay, so again, different yeah. types of motors of course, as well. As we talked here. about the motor, you said the heart of the spindle, and Absolutely. we also have a spec sheet for a motor, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes, of course. Well, I have to specify something here. Uh -huh. You will never see this kind of specification of a motorized spindle Okay. in any other companies. Oh, okay, why is for that? For one reason, Okay. because we made this in-house, the motorized, the motor Okay, inside okay. the spindle, yes. I see, so that's what, maybe we talked about it already, you manufacture your motors 100% uh, yes. yourself as well, it's built in-house. Yeah, so those, those are customized, even, even, even here, the torque, the shaft power, the shaft speed, okay. it it's also can be customized and up to the customers to decide that. Okay, yep. great, so that's the very first step of the design process, just determining what do we need. What yes. kind of specifications do we require? Of course. Okay, you? well, after that, we'll make an uh, initial uh, blueprint of mm -hmm. the bearing mm -hmm. calculation mm -hmm. uh, procedure. Okay, initial blueprint, what exactly does that entail, Sam? Well, it's the procedure before we make the prototype. As you see here on the table, the, uh, the first thing we see is the spindle structure. Mm -hmm. The second thing we have to uh, add is the maximum speed. The right. RBM, uh -huh. as you see here, the maximum speed is 20,000 RBM. Right. The third thing is that we have to calculate the DMN value of the front and the rear bearing. Mm -hmm. the, the next thing here you see, the preload. The preload here is position. And of course, as you know, as our audience know, it's position or spring. It can be customized up to the customer to decide. Mm -hmm. And next is the mounting direction. Mm -hmm. Here's vertical, it can be horizontal as well. It depends on the application. Here's the lubrication. It's grease in this situation, in this spindle, but mm -hmm. it can be customized as well. Right. And driven, of course, it's driven by a built-in motor because it's a motorized spindle. Okay. Uh, and next. Cooling? Uh, well, cooling, well, of course, it has cooling because. Okay. Yes. <laughs> of Stupid course, yes. question. <laughs> no, it's not at all. It's okay. not at all. It's so, not anything else? Yeah, well, next. Oh, we have more. the next table here. It's. Uh, as you see here, the first thing we have, we, we get is the inner diameter tolerance. It means the interference between the inner ring of the bearing and mm -hmm. the shaft. Okay. Uh, front and rear, of course. And uh -huh. the second thing, the outer diameter tolerance, it means the clearance between the outer ring of the bearing and the housing. Of course, we, we, we get those in order to have the most important thing here, the rigidity. The right. axial and the radial. And of right. course, Camille, as you know, our audience know, the rigidity is, is the most important crucial. factor. Yep. Crucial in the, our spindle calculation, bearing calculation. All right, great. Yes. So, Sam, so those are the basics when it comes to the bearing, bearing cal calculation? Absolutely, yes. Kind of an overview of the, the, of okay. the blue brain. So, when it yes. comes to the, the very first stage of the design or the design process itself, 
those were the basic uh, calculation, yeah, calculations the that calculation. you have to perform. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a must, yes, of course. Okay, and then the next step would be before the production, you would m pr manufacture a prototype? Absolutely, yes. Okay, well, so? We can talk about it more here? Yeah, of course, let's do that. Okay. So we talked about the components earlier already, chef, spacer and whatnot. And so how do you make sure that uh, whatever design, drawing, calculations and all that theoretical stuff, you have the spindle that you want to manufacture and then you have the prototype. So how do you check the quality of these components to ensure that uh, the spindle performs as expected? Well, the inner parts of the motorized spindle are very, very important. Mm -hmm. we, we focused on the precision of it has to be ultra precision. Uh, let's say the shaft, uh, the spacer, mm -hmm. etc. So we use uh, like many, many devices and instruments, mm -hmm. such, such like uh, the roundest uh, device detections okay. and 2D, 3D inspection instruments. Mm -hmm. Of course, to measure the uh, deflection, the roundness and the cylindricity. Okay. And so Regarding the space of rank, right. well, of course, we focus on its parallelism. Okay, so roundness testing, parallelism, and 3D coordinated measuring. And so on, So you've yes. got all that equipment here in-house. Yes. So you have the capabilities to perform those inspections. Absolutely, and I can take you take a look uh, and later we, on. Yeah, we will. We will in a few moments, and uh, we're going to split it up because you have like two big areas when it comes to testing as well, uh, one is dynamic yep. measurements and uh, static measurements, right? I think we sh we have another, uh, the run-in and the climbing as well. Okay, measurement. okay. Yes. right. So, and uh, do you want to show us some of the testing right yeah. now? We, can we just check it out? Yeah, let's start with the dynamic measurement. Okay. Okay, please. Okay, it. let's go. <laughs> let's go. One of the, our first item on the dynamic measurement okay, testing. For motorized spindles. Yes, temperature mm -hmm. saturation uh, process, okay. aka run in. Run in test. Yes, run All in right. test. So here we uh, monitor and record the temperature rising stability mm -hmm. from zero to its maximum high speed, RBM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So By adding 1000 RBM each time until we reach its uh, highest uh, rotation speed, okay, high, so highest RBM. Incremental uh, steps and at each step you will measure the temperature. Absolutely, yes. Okay. As you see here, it's the uh, temperature uh, degrees. The maximum are, uh, is 60. Okay. And here is the line, it's a timing. Timeline. And mm -hmm. there is the revolution per minute, so uh, spindle the speed. RBM, spindle speed, till we reach the, its maximum. Yep, got it. Yep and under normal circumstances, it won't exceed 30 degrees. Okay, okay, so yes. that's the goal. That's yes, the the, yeah, of course, and we have to record every step all the way. All the way, all yeah. right, so that was the run-in test, but that's only one of four items, I believe, from yes. the dynamic measurement yes. list, right? Yes, so what, exactly, what's yes. up next, what else the do we have? The second thing I see here is the frequency measurement. Mm -hmm. Frequency? The, yes, the frequency analysis is uh, to measure the spindle uh, operation. So we can, we can, we'll make sure that the spindle rotation is perfectly good. Okay. Uh, as you see on the screen, mm -hmm. when it's uh, first, second, third order are gradually decreasing, that means our, the spindles are perfectly well, perfectly good. Okay, perfect yeah. uh, soul power quality. Absolutely, yes. Okay, yes. beautiful. Now also another important topic we want the to talk vibration. about is vibration. You want to yes. keep it low, of course, it's very important for the accuracy. It's as well, one of right? the main advantages of the spindle actually mm -hmm. to be uh, to have a low vibration. Uh, so in our on our measurement here at Soul Power, our vibration me measurement are based on ISO seventeen two four three. All right, so, again, yeah. international standard. Absolutely, yes, it's the highest uh, international standards for the vibration. Yeah. The rotation speed here started from 600 RBM mm -hmm. till 30,000 RBM. Oh, wow, all the way yeah. up to 30,000 yeah. RBM. And yeah. it's also suitable for uh, roll and bearing and ball bearing as well. Okay, excellent. Yep. So vibration testing. Now we have one more item on the list uh, when it comes to dynamic measurements. Balancing, I believe. Balancing, so yep. we want to keep uh, the spindle well balanced. Of course, yes, is to integrate the central line of mass with rotational axis. 
Okay. So, yeah, so we'll have a high accuracy uh -huh. and a better surface finish. Okay. And a higher removal rate. Okay. And to increase, of course, to increase the tool, the tooling life as okay. well. Okay. So four things you just mentioned. I'm sure people who are looking for a motorized spindle they will very much of care course, about. Of course, yes. Right? It's it's, a, it's one of the main advantages of the motorized spindle itself. Okay. Yes, to be very a high accurate, high precision. Yes. Okay. And again, I think here you also. Um, testing according to ISO standards, right? Yes, our balancing inspection here at Soul Bar is based on ISO 1940. Okay, so again, meeting international standards? Yes, absolutely, yes. Okay, okay. Actually, the mechanism be behind uh, the motorized spindle, as you already know, and our mm -hmm. audience know, mm -hmm. it's very complicated. It is indeed. So, yeah, yeah most of our dy dynamic measurement mm -hmm. has to be done twice. Okay. So, okay. yeah, we have to make sure there's no, absolutely, there's no uh, space or place for error here. Okay, so meeting 100% uh, quality. Absolutely, 110% well, Yes, yes, okay, 110, excellent. yeah. So there was the balancing, the last uh, item on our dynamic measurement list. Yes. But now yes. we want to move on to, to the static measurement. Yes. And I believe we have uh, to get to another, another area. area. Yes. Okay, okay you well, want to take me there now? Yes, please. Yes, okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, Sam, so we just covered dynamic measurements and now we want to talk about static yes. measurements, right? Of course, yes. We're going to start talking about static measurement first, mm -hmm. then clamping force, okay. then we'll end up with, uh, eventually, with the run out. Run out, okay. Yes. Okay, so static measurements, what okay. do we need to know about? Well, at Soul Bauer here we have to focus on two points, two things, mm -hmm. the axial rigidity and the radial rigidity. Okay, excellent radial rigidity. Yes, those, so. yes these are very important. Right, obviously rigidity is very important, because, right? Yeah, because it has to do a lot mm -hmm. with the quality of mm -hmm. the orc piece you're working on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So those inspections, mm -hmm. has, those the axial and the radial has to pass our measurement. Okay. Yes, in order to ensure okay. our customer that he can get the quality he's right. he required. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's the main target, that's the main goal. Of course, right? yes. Okay, so uh, what else do we have? We have the clamping force. Okay. We, besides uh, testing the clamping force, uh -huh. we need to test the draw bar okay. endo and endorsement. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Besides, besides the draw bar, we have uh -huh. the axial thermal growth of the shaft. Thermal growth of yes. the shaft, oh, okay. Yes, okay. the axial, Very technical, yes, yeah. of course, mm -hmm. yes, because it's in, we have to ensure the quality of our uh, um, motorized spindle, mm -hmm. our built-in spindle, mm -hmm. in order to get to the best quality okay. we, can, we can achieve, we can get. Okay, wow, well, I mean, we just uh, talked about uh, the um, dynamic measurements, then yep. now the static measurements and additional tests, sure. additional inspections, so altogether I think uh, like 10, 11, 12 different inspection procedures for your motorized spindle. Well, I stopped counting one time ago. So. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I don't know how many, but there's quite a lot, yeah, and I there think there's even lot. more that you want to yeah, talk about, Yeah, the mechanism right? behind that is very, very wide, mm -hmm. so, so we... So, yeah. and another thing that uh, I think that you mentioned there earlier are, is the run out. I, yeah, I, run I think there's a run out, so yes. Yeah. Okay, finally, we're gonna be talking about the run out. Okay. Well, there is our four position to measure mm -hmm. before shipping out the spindle itself. All right. The taper, inside the taper, uh -huh. we have to measure the accuracy. It should be, it, and actually it must be, uh -huh. less or equal uh -huh. to, to uh, 0.002 millimeter. Okay. And the second position, mm -hmm. it's the taper face itself, okay. outside. We have to measure it, uh -huh. the same thing. Uh -huh. And the tolerance there? 0.002 millimeters. Okay, same. So the third position we have to test is the root of the test bar, which has to be equal to 0.003. Uh, then the fourth part, we have to test the uh, test bar itself run out, which has to be equal to 0.008. All right. Yes. Okay, so that was that uh, inspection. The run out. The run out inspection, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Sam, for showing us uh, dynamic measurements, static measurements, and all the other inspections, but there's even more. The but there are some inspection procedures that you uh, couldn't or wouldn't show us, right? Well, yes, it's uh, it's a policy. There's some customized machine. Yeah. Yeah, it's made for soul power, so. Okay, not meant not for the public. Absolutely, yes. Okay, beautiful. Yes. So, um, 
I think we're done here, but I know that you want to share even more with us today about yes. your capabilities when it comes to the manufacture of uh, motorized spindles, right? Absolutely. What about we go back to what, where we started? Okay, let's okay, go. Let's go. Okay. Wow, so we've just seen what really goes into the design, the manufacture, the development of a motorized spindle, right? So we talked about the design process, we talked about uh, all the calculations that you have to perform and then all the testing, all those inspections we've just seen. So it's not an easy task to, to develop, to manufacture a motorized spindle. Of course, it's, that's why the main advantages of the motorized spindle, the high precision, the high speed, the low vibration and compact size and easy to install, as I mentioned before. So it has to be ultra precision. Right. to do that, yes. When if you want to achieve ultra precision, you need the knowledge and you need a big team, right? You have a huge Absolutely, R&D yes. team as well. Absolutely, yes. So we have a, like almost uh, about 30, mm -hmm. 35. Wow. Yes, okay. with over than a 20, lot of yeah, with, uh, with over than 20 years experience in this field. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Now we want to talk about, obviously, you're not the only manufacturer of um, motorized spindles here in Taiwan. But I am sure, Sam, that you believe that you are the number one choice for everyone around the globe looking for a professional motorized spindle supplier, right? Absolutely, yes. I mean, I mean believe is not enough here to describe solar power. Okay. I'm, I'm very confident that we okay. are the best choice. Okay, so what makes you so confident about it? What, what are the main advantages of uh, solar power as motorized spindles? Well, besides the fact we have seen solar powers manufacturing competitive capabilities, mm -hmm. we have been in this business for the best 25 years, okay. manufacturing motors, and the spindles bar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Sol Bauer is holding one of, I mean, most of the well-respected certificate. Okay, Na such as? Uh, such as ISO uh, okay. 1940, uh -huh. ISO 17243, uh, mm -hmm. UL mm -hmm. as well. Wait, UL, are we talking about UL certified or UL recognized or UL listed? I mean, I think there are some slight differences uh, there, right? Good, yeah, yeah, good questions. Well, we are a UL listed. Oh, okay. We have been uh, testing uh, nationally mm -hmm. for the safety and sustainability standards. Okay, safety and sustainability, also two very important topics. Now, Sam, before we end this segment here, anything else you would like to add? Absolutely, yes. I want to add uh, the most important thing I've been uh, thinking about since we started. <laughs> okay, please go ahead. Yes. We're listening. Well, Solbar is the only manufacturer here in Taiwan who has these capabilities. Okay, when you say these capabilities, you're talking about manufacturing uh, motorized spindles in-house? Actually, the motor itself is the heart. Mm -hmm. So, Sol Barb have been manufacturing the motor since 1995. Okay. And Sol Barb motor, w globally well known. Mm -hmm. So, from A, starting from the motor itself, till we manufacture mm -hmm. the whole part of the mm -hmm. motorized spindle. Mm -hmm. So, there is no need to go to B or C or D to manufacture or to get okay. your motor so to no put it inside. Okay, so that's not sole power. You don't see yourself as B, C, D, E. We're not an a B, C, and a D. We approved, We already proved ourselves enough to be an A. Okay. There is no none again, none in Taiwan who can manufacture the motor synchronous as synchronous and the man manufacture the spindle from A to Z, okay. here in-house, okay. except A, okay. Soul Power. Okay, excellent. I like your confidence, Sam. Thank you very much for thank this you. crash course on uh, motorized spindles. And thank you for watching. If you're looking for a supplier that can help you with the manufacture of motorized spindles from the beginning to the very end, the design research of the spindle and the motor itself, testing, prototyping, manufacture and after sales services, well, then Soul Power might be the best choice for you. And for this topic, I have my next expert on the show. He's a member of Soul Power's electric motor department, Mr. Joe Lin. Joe, how are you today? I'm fine. So we can just use English, right? Yeah, I will try my best. I think you'll do a great job. So why don't you just introduce yourself real quick to the audience out there? Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Joe. I am the manager of the uh, electric motor department at Soul Power. I've been working in motor design and validation for more than 10 years especially in high efficiency, PM motor and induction motors. Okay, excellent. Welcome to the show, Joe. So in the beginning, we heard from Mr. Pong that Soul Power started out as a motor component supplier. 
and then over the years transitioned into manufacturing complete motors and uh, other motor related products such as motorized spindles, right? Yeah, right. Um, after the last five years, Saw Power has expanded its R&D resources and manufactured techniques into a motorized spindle by integrating the high reliability motor elements inside, including the electric uh, PM motor and induction motors. Okay, and these uh, new motor technologies enable yes. Saw Power to manufacture these high precision, high speed built-in or motorized spindles, you can call it either way. So what can you tell us, maybe you can give us a crash course on the electromagnetic characteristics of motorized spindles. What are the basics? Okay, uh, first of all, if you need to get the best performance out of a motorized spindle, you need to apply numerical simulations. Uh, let me talk about some basics. Sure. A motorized spindle is a mechanical spindle with uh, motor elements embedded inside. These elements uh, are composed of a stator uh, with a, a coil winding mm -hmm. here and a rotor with conductors. Wow. Okay. And the rotor conductors can be made by, by uh, copper, aluminum or magnets. Okay, so you can use different <laughs> types of uh, materials. Yes, right. Okay. And the uh, winding type of the stator mm -hmm. should be three-phase. Okay, I and see. And they can only be powered by AC inverters. You mentioned we have a stator and a yes. rotor and from my understanding yeah. how it works is you have the stator with the coil right. and this creates an electric current oh, right. and this current causes the rotor to rotate, right? That's why it's called a rotor, is that uh, correct? Uh, that's basically right. A spindle operates throughout the interaction between the stator and the rotor by the magnetic field and electric current inside the coil. So the cutting performance is uh, heavily influenced by the mechanical characteristics inside the motor elements. Okay, so you mentioned how important it is, so I would guess that the optimization and validation of these uh, parameters is also very important. So how do you make sure that your uh, spindles or your motors within the spindle meet those requirements? Okay, uh, in the design stage, uh, we apply the numerical simulations to get the um, optimized parameters such like the uh, magnetic field and the back electric motive force, overload capacity and torque constant to make sure that uh, we have a uh, uh, best design. So we need to modify the stator shape slots and the rotor uh, pole pairs, also the winding conditions. Okay, I see. So a whole bunch of simulation and testing tools during the design stage for the static, uh, for the stator and the rotor performance alone. Now, what about when we move on to uh, the actual manufacturing and the assembly of your spindles? What can you tell us about that? Uh, okay, we make all the parts, uh, motor parts, in house. Okay, everything yeah. is made in house. Every component, right, right okay, made in house because uh, we need to make sure that we have a total control of each manufacturing step. And then top quality as well, right? Yeah, right. Uh, product quality is uh, very important, mm -hmm. it's everything. We believe this is the only way to make your spindle to be uh, cost effective. Uh, so after the numerical simulations that we just mentioned, mm -hmm. we can uh, get an uh, optimized uh, stator and rotor. So uh, next step, we can uh, start in the stator domination stamping tool. Okay, stamping tooling, that's the keyword, right? What uh, exactly right. Okay, does um, that mean? The stamping tool is uh, composed of four to five pieces of specific steel blocks by the uh, grinding and uh, cutting. And after the tooling is finished, we can start the puncturing process. Uh, during this process, each stacking uh, stacked automatically and uh, concentratedly. Okay, okay, and I see. we will use the 2D measuring uh, equipment to make sure that each stacking are uh, within uh, the total height of uh, each stacking are uh, within a tolerance of uh, plus minus 0 0.35 millimeters. 0 0.35 millimeters? Yeah. It's very precise. Uh, yeah, that's right. We uh, have a very high quality control of uh, each manufacturing process. Okay, I'm sure people out there are very happy to hear that uh, 
you really, really care about every single step of the manufacturing process. Accuracy everywhere at every single step. That's yeah, good. Right. So now right. I think uh, we want to talk about the winding because the winding of the stator is considered the heart of the electric motor, so I've been told. So I'm sure it needs a special consideration, right? All right. In the winding stage, uh, we bring the winding design from uh, numerical into practice. The key point here is the tension. Yeah, is the tension control. That's right. Uh, during winding, every turn on each core uh, should be uniform mm -hmm. to make sure that they have the same electric resistance okay. in the tolerance of uh, plus minus one percent. Plus minus one percent tolerance only for the electrical resistance, right? Yeah, for the so, so electric resistance. You don't resistance. have a lot of, lot of room for error there, so how do, you, how do you make sure that you meet this, this, this target? Okay, uh, we make our own winding machines and oh, okay. judges and optimize the winding conditions to make sure that they stay the uniform. Mm -hmm. uh, That's winding. excellent. Okay, so yeah, what happens right. after the winding process? Okay, uh, after the uh, wi winding process, mm -hmm. uh, every turn are well winding, then we put them into the stator slots, then finish the post-processing. Okay, so the stator inspection is the last stage of mm -hmm. the manufacturing step, mm -hmm. including the electric uh, resistance and inductance test, AC and DC insulation test. So uh, here we can see the numerical uh, simulations and the manufacturing process in the technical point of view. Mm -hmm. So what follows is the experimental measurement by the dynamometer. Okay. Yeah, a dynamometer is a motor test equipment containing a load motor, mm -hmm. a power meter, and mm -hmm. a torque sensor. Okay. It can provide a constant load to the test motor and test the motor's speed and torque performances to get all the designed parameters mm -hmm. into practice. Okay, so then you have the transition from theory, whatever you plan, and then you have the actual product. Yeah, right. Okay, right. excellent, Joe. There was a lot of valuable information. Thank you very much. Thank you. You guys out there, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a few seconds answering the most important questions about salt power in general and, of course, about their motorized spindles. So, Camille, come in. Thank you. Yeah, here you for our sales team. Hi, guys. This is our handsome domestic sales manager, Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. And uh, Celia, sales representative. Celia, hi. And our Kelly, a sales rep too. Kelly, nice to meet you. Yeah, please have a seat. Thank you. Left, right? I well, choose. yeah, whatever makes you happy. Okay. <laughs> I'll choose this one here. <laughs> okay. And I see quite a few very nice uh, product catalogs, right? Uh, yeah, we generally have a discussion here. Okay. So, yeah. So, how, how was your day? So far? So far, great. Thank you for showing me around. I mean, it was a lot to take in. Also very interesting and, of course, I would like to talk a little bit more about salt power. Well, absolutely. You're welcome to ask us any questions, especially we have a few of our sales team here. So, yeah, please, feel free to ask us any questions. Okay, I will ask a few questions, uh, but the first one I want to ask you, Sam. Okay, please. Because I noticed that you kept mentioning not only custom solutions, but also especially innovation throughout the day. Yes, true. So maybe you can elaborate on that. How exactly is uh, innovation one of the strengths of solar power? Okay, well, regarding to the, this new environment, so solar power is already on the market. Regarding to motors, solar power is already replacing the old engine with the new, the new EV engine. Mm -hmm. The Electric old engine, vehicles. yeah, replacing it with an EV motor. Regarding to Screws, screw. We got, now it's uh, replacing it with a linear motor. Regarding to the old gearbox, we already replacing it with a, a DD rotary table. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So replacing old technologies with new ones or upgrading old technologies. Yes. Now one thing I was also or am still curious about is uh, the scale of the company because you showed me around, it's a huge area, two yes. factories. Yes. You even mentioned you have a dorm. Absolutely. So um, how many people work for Soul Power at the moment? 
Well, we only have 130 employees so far. Did you just say only 130? Yes. yes. Must be a Taiwanese thing. Very humble. 130 well, sounds quite a lot to me. Well, and our perspective is not because we're already like, you know, working. We have our goals to be bigger and become bigger at that. Okay, so, so yes. setting goals for the future. Of course, of course. Excellent. Now, another thing, another topic I want to uh, focus on is spindles because from what I understood, this is one of the products that you're promoting around the world at the moment, your yes. motorized spindles. Yes, it's one of the main products, yeah. Right, so maybe you can tell me a little bit, Kelly, right? Yes. You can tell me a little bit about what are the main advantages of uh, soul power spindles. Let me answer it. High precision, low vibration, high reliability. Okay, low vibration, high reliability and high precision. So, Kelly, what about spindles? Sam mentioned earlier custom solutions for soul power products. So, is that also true for spindles or do you only have uh, standard spindles? Of course, we can make custom spindles and it takes only four months to deliver it. Okay, four months to like from design, testing R&D to manufacturing, roughly four months. Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. Now, another question I have, um, I saw a lot of uh, manufacturing equipment, testing equipment, but um, are all your products, including spindles, made in-house, all made by Soul Power? Of course. We are an end-to-end manufacturer. We are design, test, produce in-house. Okay, so the whole process is done in-house, so you have total control of the quality. Yes, of course. Okay, great. Now one more question that I have um, that I think a lot of people uh, think is very important. If I run into any problems with my soul power spindle, which might happen, how long would I have to wait for it? To, uh, if I send it in, how long does it take you guys to fix it? On the moment we receive it, just seven days. Seven days, okay. Thank you, Celia. So seven days. That's, that's pretty fast, but does this only apply to the Taiwanese market or if I'm a customer in Europe or in the US, do I get the same offer safe service? Actually, we guaranteed our product 100%, so it's, we like, we never, we never have this problem before, but we still guarantee it 100%, yes, worldwide. Okay, it's so the same repair time as well? Absolutely, seven days from the moment we receive the product itself, we take us seven days to repair it, then we'll ship it anywhere in the, in the world. Okay, that's, yes. that is beautiful, excellent. Um, so I have a, a few more questions, Sam. Please. The next one is a little a sensitive one, I think. Okay. Of course, people would like to know, probably, if you compare um, soap or spindles, the price of your spindles to competitors in Asia or worldwide, where do you, where, where are you there? Okay, where are, <laughs> and ranking Taiwan, we are in the top one to five. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be ranking myself here in Taiwan because we're in the top five. Okay. So in regarding to the original manufacturer, mm -hmm. such as let's say Germany, mm -hmm. uh, Italy, mm -hmm. or even Japan, mm -hmm. we're absolutely cheaper. Okay. Definitely. Okay. There's no question on that. But when it comes to quality, you see yourself at the same level. Absolutely. We have. We already. We talk the talk, right? And we walk the walk daily, right? Sure. Yeah. So yes, of course. Okay, so cheaper price but the same quality, that's excellent. But what if I don't buy uh, a spindle from directly from Soul Power, but maybe through one of your worldwide agents? Like, it's still get the same price, the best price? Of course, it's still the same. It's our product. I mean, when we, when we talk about agent or through our agent, we always, I mean, inside our factory, we call them branches. They were really been collaborate with us for the past 20 years. So our price is the same. Okay. And with the same brand, so our customer don't don't have to, I mean I mean don't have to worry about uh, the pricing thing okay. because if he got in touch with us mm -hmm. or through them, it's the same. Okay, that's good to yep. know. So another thing I just thought of is um, we talked about the repair time for spindles, which is just seven days, right? Yeah. But how about the delivery time uh, of a custom spindle and also? Um, is there a minimum amount of spindles, number of spindles that I have to order? If the standard spindle, three to four months, but also depends on the quality as well. Mm -hmm. Regarding to our MOQ, 
our customers are welcome to order even one piece. Okay, just one spindle. I could order just one custom-made spindle if I need it. Sure, sure, of course. Yes. Okay, that's beautiful. So um, I think I'm almost through with my questions. Maybe Sam, do you want to talk about Soul Power one more time and convince me? Say I'm a new customer. I'm a potential customer. Why you? Why Soul Power? Okay. Well, let's start from the beginning. We started back in 1995, so we already proven that we have that experience. And our factory being getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We started from the scratch, from the coiling, from de developing the coiling. So you know all the basics. Absolutely. Well, yeah. We started from that step, mm -hmm. and now we are on the energy vehicle motor line. So from a to Z. So, from this perspective, I think we are absolutely fine. Other perspective, worldwide, mm -hmm. we have few the most well respected certification. Okay. Regarding to system quality management, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. such as ISO, okay. UL, IATF 16949. Okay. And of course, as well as CE. All right, all right. So quality, I guess. So Very yeah, we, 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 we already talked the talk and we are absolutely walking the walk. Well, you showed it today. Yes, so oh, our right. customer doesn't have to worry about uh, pricing mm -hmm. or quality or experience because okay. Soul Power proven that already. Do they trust? Of the course. Soul power, so other people. Absolutely, yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's as well. Sure, yeah, of course. And we already have those information on our, our website. Our, mm -hmm. our customer or our potential customer or anyone are welcome to go mm -hmm. to our website, check it out. And you, I think you also have a brand new website actually, like in the works or already online? Oh, of course, yes, of course. Well, can I show you? Sure, you've got something. Yes, actually, I show. got it ready yeah. here on my iPad. Well, okay, see? Here's the service. It's actually it's a new one. Mm -hmm. We added the top right called online meeting. Okay, you just have meeting. to go to a very for like very basic or very simple mm -hmm. uh, steps. Mm -hmm. One, let us know who you are. Okay. Two, choose okay. a time and a date. Three, just choose uh, the way you want to talk to us okay. through Zoom, Skype, oh, or okay. so ever. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And four, just confirm it. All right, and, and then I can. Have May an online meeting with you uh, yes. or your sales team. Somehow. Absolutely. If your question is there, is uh, it's complicated or it's customized, we'll be asking our head of R and D engineer to join us. Oh wow. Okay. Yes. Sounds like a really good service yes. for yeah, of people course. all around the world. Uh, especially with the Corona. So yeah. yeah. Or not. Online. Yeah. So you can just get in touch. Connecting with you. online. Yes. Yes. Very 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 okay. useful and very tasks are simple. So a, a new type of. The service and a new type of sure. marketing tool as well for you guys. Of course, yes, okay. absolutely, yes. Great. All right. So I think um, that's it for today. But for today, in yes. The future, absolutely, we'll have another. We will have a lot of actually. Yeah, to we'll have a lot of products as well. Yeah, right? yeah, we have a lot of products to be introducing in the future, and we'll be we'll be seeing you again and again and again. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> uh, yes. So, uh, I mean, what can I say? Thank you, Sam, for showing me around today. And I thank you guys as well that you joined us for this uh, Q&A session. It was very interesting to listen thank to you. your answers. And, um, yeah, again, thank you, Sam, and uh, see you next time. Absolutely, yes. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.